Ladies and gentlemen, America is going over the edge. For all intents and purposes, we are now a police state, third world, banana republic country. The executive branch is becoming classically dictatorial by every benchmark. And constitutional lawyers across the political spectrum agree on that. But ladies and gentlemen, I gotta be honest with you. I actually am scared. And that's what they intend for us to be, is scared and then to back down. The establishment just arrested the former Republican governor of Virginia on trumped up garbage. I mean, what he did is not one one thousandth what the Democrats do. And there's maxims in law where you cannot have the corrupt then selectively prosecuting people for crooked toenails. And I'm not a Republican, but if I saw Democrats being purged and persecuted like this, I would come to their aid. This is how political persecutions begin. And they've gotten away with going after the Tea Party, the pro-life people, the gun groups, with the IRS, the NSA, against Fox News and the Associated Press. This is a reign of terror. This is real autocratic authoritarianism. And now, and now, Dinesh D'Souza, arguably the number one political documentary in history, the media says number two, grossing upwards of $50 million. He was set with the producers of Schindler's List and others to come out with pro-America films on July 4th about bringing everyone together, bringing minorities together, bringing everyone together around liberty, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and a renewal. They don't want unity. Ladies and gentlemen, his old college friend, uh, he reportedly gave $20,000 to, it's called bundling. The Democrats do it openly. About a third of Obama's money openly came from illegal offshore sources. They didn't even hide it on his campaign site. Obama runs the FBI. He runs the Justice Department that's covered up Fast and Furious and Salandra. Again, things literally a thousand times worse. So the issue is here, they can find a mistake in your checking account and claim that it was fraud or wire fraud. They can do it to anybody. They can put anybody in prison the way these laws are written. I was talking about this yesterday and today on the radio, saying get ready and if we see more, this means big trouble. The Dinesh D'Souza was gonna come out with powerful films exposing collectivism and tyranny. And ladies and gentlemen, if he's convicted of all the counts, he could spend 15 years in prison. And what's incredible is even the Hollywood reporter that's normally establishment is saying this is really bad. And all, almost all the comments are saying, this is political witch hunt, this is tyranny, we're in great danger, this discredits the system, but they don't care. They don't care they've been caught in everything they've done. And that shows they're going for broke because they're like cornered rats. And I'm telling you, if we don't stand up for the First Amendment and we let them persecute filmmakers and create a chilling effect, we're done. Remember what the New York Times reported today, that 1,500 libertarians and conservatives in L.A. have to be secret when they meet, and the IRS is coming after them now because it's literally basically illegal in the Hollywood system, and they will blackball you. So this, this is like Nazi Germany. I mean, this is how it happens. This is how freedom fails. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. And, and look, in two days, Dinesh D'Souza and the governor uh, of Virginia, they are going after everybody, rising stars, anyone they see as a threat. And it's not that these guys are perfect. I know D'Souza, I've interviewed him. I think he's a good guy. I, you know, this governor, just classic person who's running around with the elite, doesn't have enough money for stuff. So... You know, he's got some supplement guy giving him a few gifts. That is just standard. I would consider that clean in the dirty politics. And by the way, big corporations have it written where they can give unlimited money. I mean, rich people can get, Bloomberg spent 50 plus million each campaign of his own money. They selectively are doing this to shut down speech, to shut down political giving. It's on, folks. I live in Travis County or outside Travis County the only area the Democrats control in Texas, and they arrest Republicans all over the state. Sheriffs, congressmen, you name it, with trumped up crap. It's all come out. And, I mean, I literally just try to live my own life as clean as possible. It doesn't matter. They can set me up, and they can set you up, and they've got an appetite to take everything over. Do you understand? Once they're done with these guys, they're coming after you and I, and those of you that are Democrats and serve this system. Tyranny is insatiable. You understand? Tyranny begets tyranny. I'm Alex Jones reporting for InfoWars.com. We've got killer cold weather hitting Texas, part of the global warming. Uh, and when, they, when the roads ice up, nobody can get to work because nobody knows how to drive in here. 
I'll try to be on the radio live tomorrow. I may remote in if the roads are totally shut down. I'll try to come into Austin. But I'll be on the radio regardless covering this at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. But the good news is people are freaking out about this. Even Democrats are going, whoa, this is dangerous because this is an organized effort. Again, Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, this situation is accelerating. Again, the persecution of the Tea Party with the IRS, all of it, pro-life groups. I mean, this is a purge. It's like when Piers Morgan said he wants to kill me, and they all talk about how he'll dress in a police uniform when he does it with Buzz Bissinger, and it's all cute. If I said that, I'd be arrested. This is real. Look, they've already taken all the due process. They've already set up Homeland Security. They're already saying the Tea Party and returning veterans and gun owners are the enemy and training the Pentagon for it. That's in the news. The last step is actually coming after us. And if they get away with this, I've been saying this for years, if they can get away with the political persecution with the IRS, I mean, Nixon got thrown out of office for that, for small stuff, a small enemies list, which was bad. This is light years ahead of that, and it's by these criminal hypocrites. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. We'll cover it more tomorrow on the radio.